Hey everyone and welcome back. So what we're gonna do today for this uh, little kind of video, we are going to actually prototype some micro interactions for our navigation. So if you remember, we were working on some visual style exploration and this is where we kind of left off uh, in terms of our home screen. Now I'm actually going to just delete everything here and I'm gonna just keep our nav. I think that's a good place to start for our nav anyways. We're gonna just uh, bring that up. And what I wanna do here is, let's actually take our nav out. I'm gonna just uh, duplicate it. I'm gonna just work on the nav right here for now. So let's just hide that. Let's bring this color. Okay, I'm going to just uh, detach that, grab that and okay. So we have our little nav and you know for the sake of this this uh, little test what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bump this all the way up to i think 100 is going to be fine i'm going to bring them up and this is going to be our nav to work with so what i want to do is i want to create a couple of different interactions here i mean i know we're on mobile but i want to show some hover interactions as well some clicking interactions just different examples of things we can do and what's in the realm of possibility. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just select my text tool and I'm gonna just write something, I'm gonna write home. Um, let me just detach that. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, that's a little too big. So we got home. Perfect. Let's just change to 100%. So I have home over here and I'm going to actually make that a frame and just call it home. Let's delete our other frame there. So we're gonna call that home and that I want to have pop in over there. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. So this is just gonna be um, just an auto layout. We got home in there, perfect. Let's keep that centered. Uh, I'm gonna create another one and another one and another one. Perfect. So this one is going to be wish list. This one is going to be orders. And this one's gonna be cart. Okay, let's rename each frame. This is important. So we keep things in order. So we got all our different, just copy in general. Um, what else can we do here? We can um, make copies of these. Actually, let's keep it like that for now. Let's just prototype quickly what we got here. So what we're gonna do is on a hover, we're gonna go like that, weird. Okay, let's do on hover, I'm going to open an overlay and that overlay is going to be home. And we can select how we want to feature that. I mean, that can show up right there. That's a little perfect. So we got home. That's what's gonna happen on hover. And that is going to be a dissolve. That's okay. Let's see what that looks like actually. So what I wanna do is I want to just, do you see that is a micro interaction. We're gonna hover, boom, hover, gone. So really nice feedback we're getting there. Just changing the background color. And we're gonna do that for everything else as well. So on hover, we are going to, let's just do, while hovering, we are going to do that, dissolve. Uh, we're gonna navigate, open overlay. We are going to uh, keep that to manual. And eight pixels just below and centered. So we're gonna do that. And we'll let's do that for this one as well. So what we're creating here is just a very, very simple micro interaction on hovering. 
let's uh, do that. So we got eight pixels and let's finally do it for cart as well. So we got on click uh, while hovering, open overlay, custom or manual. So you can center it uh, overlay any which way you want. I'm doing manual because I want it to be perfectly centered. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get it perfectly centered, but. Okay, let's take a look at our micro interaction. That's looking sharp. I really love it. So that is a micro interaction. Let's see if we can bump that up. That's really wide, but it's all right. So we got our wish list, our home, our orders, and our cart. Now, what we can try and do is we can actually make the uh, actual icons come in and darken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also, so there's a couple ways we can actually do this. So I'm going to just take all these and delete them. Delete the. Okay, so let's go back to design. So we're just going to set this up really nicely and quickly. We are gonna make these a vertical and I'm gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna drop that in there and I'm gonna drop that one in there. Oh, oh no. Let's drop that. So as you can tell, what I'm doing is I'm just beautiful. And let's select all of these and make the spacing between items eight pixels. So what happens is perfect. They're all gonna turn black. And let's see what that animation will look like. So when I do that, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to just overlay that over my, okay, that's, that's fine for now. Same thing over here. I want to um, bring that up. For some reason it is not aligning, but that's okay. And I'm gonna bring this one up too, nice. That's good. And this one I'm going to bring here. So let's uh, click on that. Okay, so that one's perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at our micro interaction. So as you can tell, when we hover over, we're getting that nice little black overlay. Uh, it's a little shaky on these, but that's fine. And now we can see just the actual, the label as well. So that's really nice. In our next video, we're actually gonna jump in and animate this search experience over here. We're gonna work on the micro interaction for what happens when we actually click on this or even hover on it. So that is it for hovering on each navigation item.